everyone, welcome. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for December 15, December daily collaging. Let's check our prompts. I have a pretty good idea today of what I want to do. I want to do prompt number one. Add a black and white photo, your own from a digital download, from a magazine, etc. I'm gonna circle it. Put today's date. As always, please find this list as well as my December daily playlist linked below. And as always, first I need to check my Haribo advent calendar. <laughs> Where is 15? It's here and it's a very small window. That can't be good. <laughs> ah, it's one of these chewy candies. This time we have, oh, it's sour. Oh, that's awesome. Seems to be sour cherry flavor. I'm not gonna eat these yet. It's one of those days where I have not had any breakfast, so I can't start off my day eating these, but I will show you what they look like. <laughs> I don't know if you have these in the States or in Canada or anywhere outside of Europe, actually. Yeah, so that's what they look like. They are, I think they're white inside, pretty much. And they are chewy, so I could... Yeah, so this is what they look like. Just, just in case you wanted to know. <laughs> I already have the photo I want to work with picked out. It is this beautiful lady. I have used her in other projects. She is actually in my store. I will link her, but I'm sure you have plenty of photos laying around that you could use. It doesn't even have to be black and white. So let me show you another project where I have used her already. Some of you might have seen this steampunk journal that I made a few months back. And I will link the playlist for this, for this below. I have made most of these pages on camera and there is also a flip through. Let me just show here. So here's the page where I've made her into a steampunk lady. The photo is a little bit bigger, but it's the same photo. I just love this. I really, really love it. And of course, I love all the copper elements in this journal. <laughs> so go check out this playlist if you want to see it or, or see the complete flip through of this. So this time we have to make it more festive. Let's clamp these down. And my idea was to use some Tim Holtz products this time because I think many of us love Tim Holtz. So she's gonna be the star. And I wanted to use a particular package or a particular set that I have of Tim Holtz and it's this one, which is called Urban. So it's 65 pieces of layering Layering urban pieces, I guess. I will try to link this below for you as well. And these are the kind of pieces you get. They are a lot of fun. They are really nice, thick quality, but not too thick. So it's just perfect. So I want to see if I can find some pieces that will go with her. And then we'll see if we can make this look festive at all. I'm thinking maybe I should try to pick some pieces that have some red in it. That already kind of gives it a festive touch. And then I'm also liking, of course, some numbers. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. round elements no maybe this number he also has these huge numbers which are so cool how fun are those i think i have one that i have already kind of crunched up if i remember correctly which looks even better yeah 
so that you see the difference. So this is the regular one, how they come, and this is a grunged up one. All I did with this one was I sanded it down with my sanding paper, but you can also use your nail file. And then I added some Distress Oxide over the top just with this tool. That's it. And look how different and, and, and vintage this one looks. I just I just think it's so, so cool. But I think this these are too big for me today. This is another one with red. So is this, but I think it's too many. Also love this measuring tape. Some more numbers. Oh, I like this one as well. Okay, I think that's a good amount to start with. Oh, how beautiful is this? I didn't even see this before. Looks like one of these old composition books. Just beautiful. Wow. Should make a journal out of this, a mini journal. How cool. So I'm going to put these aside. So let's play with these elements and see what kind of composition we can come up with. Let me divide it into small and larger parts. Let me take these off. Okay, so there's this big one. Definitely want to place that so that a lot of the red is showing. Like so. This one, I'm not sure we, that we can fit two big elements. I mean, this would actually work. Too bad it doesn't say 15 here. That would have been perfect. <laughs> okay. Then, so I think this is probably then too much for, let's see. This is the fun part with all the layering where you just figure out what goes where. Actually, this I want like this. That's pretty good so far. What else? That might be too much numbers now, too many numbers. Something else that I think would work pretty well is maybe some cogwheels. I have a die to punch these. So I have some here that I could, if I wanted to, I could paint them or put some copper wax, gilding wax on it or something. If I add them, I need to add three as we know. <laughs> By now you know I work in threes. That is kind of nice actually, right there. Or we put the small one on the bottom. What we're looking for is an uneven triangle with uneven sides. Maybe not the big one by her head. Oops. I like that a lot. Are there any other ones? No, three is good. And I think black would be too harsh. I still can decide if I wanna paint these, maybe red, I don't know. Not sure I've ever seen red cogwheels. That could be something interesting and new. <laughs> I also, of course, want to add a sentiment and somehow we need to make this look festive. Let me think how we can add some festive elements to this. I went through all my things and I came up with something that might work. So I have this die cut, which I haven't used a lot at all. And it's this one with the bow. So it has this base piece and then the top of the bow and a round thing, which is kind of like the knot that goes on top of this and then a ribbon hanging down, which goes here. Obviously, probably none of you are going to have this die, but I believe this die, you can you can cut this shape out 
by hand as well and you don't need these little lines here of course they're nice to have this ribbon pattern but you don't need it you could really just draw this out on cardstock or on paper and then just glue the elements on top of each other that should be easy enough to do I bought this on AliExpress a long, long time ago. If that link still works, I will be happy to link that down for you. And what I thought I could use to cut those with is, I have these huge playing cards. They are from, what is it called? Flying Tiger, I think it is. This is a, oh boy, Scandinavian for sure. Danish or Dutch, I am not sure, unfortunately. It is a shop or a chain that we have in, in I think, a lot of European countries. But the reason why I chose this is, and there's, of course, lots of fun things you can make with these cards, but they have this wonderful Christmassy backside. <laughs> so I thought I would sacrifice one and cut these parts out, and then we'll see if that looks cute and if we can make that work to fit on this page so i'll be back so i'm back this is what's left of the card and these are the parts i think they're absolutely adorable like this so now i just need to assemble it so this one goes on top of this and then this goes on this and this little ribbon actually goes underneath the bow but that's optional. I've also used it without the ribbon lower parts if I didn't have enough space. But how cute is that? So I want to try to add this somehow. I don't want it hanging in her face. <laughs> Can we put it like this? No, that's cut. Well, let's see if we take this off. What if we put it? That might be really cute. Like that. It's like she's a present, like she's giving herself to someone as a present. I think that's a cute idea. I would like a sentiment. Actually, I think there were some words in here. I know they're not Christmassy, but let's see. Maybe there's something we can use. Do not crush. That actually might work. Handle with care. Oh, this is a good one. Handle with care. Oh, I love that. Let's see what else. Glass, handle with care. Perishable, no. Registered number, no. might be it yeah looks like that's it so both of these are actually nice but I think the handle with care of course is very cute she needs to be handled with care for sure where do we put this of course immediately I'm going for the bottom right it just seems natural we do something different I mean it could work but then again maybe not <laughs> what if we put this like we had the measuring tape we try it like this and this is totally falling apart I should probably glue that together but I don't want to commit to gluing it yet before I know that this ribbon is actually I mean, this, uh, this part here is going to fit because it might be too big. So if we add this here with this, maybe we can, let's try to move her a bit. I think this ribbon would make any page festive. <laughs> it is so stinking cute. I'm glad I found this in my stash now. Now that's good. How can we add this now? Up here. 
No, see, this is the natural place. It just kind of settles in there and it works. I can't, I, I don't know what else to tell you. What about this? Should we add this down here? Maybe if we cut it shorter, just have three numbers. I am liking this a lot. Maybe we could even add some washi, like a Merry Christmas washi somewhere, but we could decide that afterwards. Another thing I found were these stickers. They were, I believe, in last year's Your Creative Studio November box. What I am thinking is, could we turn one of these labels into a round label? No, this is too small. What about this one? Mm -hmm. See, this would work. I could just cut that out to fit right in the middle of this cogwheel. Does that make sense? Well, we could try it. Okay, which one would we choose? I need to look at the color. Oh, actually, this color is perfect, the tan because we have tan here and tan here, and that way we'd have a tan triangle. Look at that. There's also this one, which even has the red, which also wouldn't be bad. Maybe we should take this one. Okay, let's try it with this one. So let me move this carefully. Don't wanna lose my composition. Then I'm going to take a pencil, try to center this and draw the circle and then I know I need to cut a little outside of that circle so that I can still glue that on without it coming outside of the cogwheel. Yes, that should work. Just gonna get an eraser to erase my pencil line. And now I need to glue this on and I think it's better to put the glue on the cogwheel rather than the edge of the sticker. How will that look? If we put it under, that won't work. If we put it over. Yep, I think that works. Now I'm thinking, should I add something in these little cogwheels too? But I don't know what that could be because they are a lot smaller. Let me see if I could find something. There is this 26, which was in the same urban set. I don't know if we want more numbers. So it would kind of work if I would cut it out, but I don't know if I like that. Not sure about that one. Let me keep looking. I'm not sure if I want it to be a number. I found this strip here, which shows the moon in various phases. This was in the October, your creative studio box and this small cogwheel would fit exactly one of the moons. But I'm not sure if that makes any sense or if, if, that's, if that would look nice. Should that be like this? It's not gonna stay. I don't wanna cut it yet if I don't know that I'm actually gonna do this. So it would be here. Minus all of that. <laughs> and then the only thing I found for this middle-sized one is this from a vintage stamp that I have. I mean, this is perfect, but I just, I'm thinking it's too busy. I'm inclined to just not put anything in these two and just to leave them. I think I like that better. Both of these pages are of course super busy. I do like the fact that these two ladies are not lined up. There's definitely more dynamic having one higher than the other, so that's good. 
because you always have to look at the whole thing ideally as well I know I didn't do that always but actually you should because you're always gonna see these together I'm wondering if if this one this one is done so but I'm wondering if if this one is too busy and if it is what could we take away to still be interesting so one thing could be this ribbon so if I take that away that kind of calms it down a little bit I have the feeling maybe this is too much I do need a third one because I definitely am not going to leave just two of them. But maybe it needs a different one without anything in it. That definitely calms it down, those two changes. Yeah, let's not do this. I could use this in another spread for sure. Yeah, I said I wanted to maybe add one of these. So there's this one that says Merry Christmas. I don't remember where I got this thing from. Maybe locally, I've had this for a long time. So where could we add this to not add more busyness? Of her eyes. <laughs> no, what if we put it on the ribbon? See, there's two different kinds. There's the script or this font and there's the bigger font. I am not sure which is the better one. Maybe the small one, so that it's really just the tiniest accent. We can try both. Let me zoom you in a little bit. So this is the bigger one. And let's try the smaller one. That's the bigger one. We could also put them on a white background to make them stand out a little more because they are barely visible. This is the small one. This might just be too small. Yeah, I think I'll do the bigger one and I want to try backing that with something white. I have some scrap copy paper. I'll just stick it there and then cut that out. Yep, that's better. You can see it a little better that way. I think that's what I'll do. And I'm happy with this. So let me glue everything down. I'm just trying to decide which glue I want to use for this. These are thicker pieces, so I don't think I'm gonna use my tacky glue. I could use my three-in-one glue, except I think the cogwheels I'll do with my tacky glue, and the rest I'll, I think I'm gonna just use my three-in-one glue. So I will do that, and then we'll see if we need anything else. Everything is glued down. I am super, super happy with this. I'm glad I took away the elements that I did. And I think they work together, even though the whole spread is quite busy, but I think it's okay. What I love is how you can change up an element. So again, if we go back to the photo and how I had it in my steampunk journal it's the same photo but look how different it looks when you just add different elements to it so that's a really fun thing to experiment with it would be really fun actually to take the same photo and then to try different things with it like to make a spring theme or an autumn themed or not even just a season but just different themes and then maybe to have them, like to have them even on, on one page, maybe not one page, but you know, somehow where you could have them next to each other to be able to just see the change. I think that is super, super fun. I do still need to add the date. And I think this is one where I don't want the date really popping out. Although having said that, it would work actually. Maybe somewhere on the side here in the red. Or maybe not red. I'll try it with my espresso truffle ink and I will again use this beautiful stamp from the Your Creative Studio October box and I'm gonna be brave and stamp it directly onto my page. 
I have changed it to the 15th. I could put it right there. Let's just do that. Or down here. Okay, I'll do it down here. <laughs> always, always the bottom right. I'm not sure that that was the best place. It is very busy down here right now, but <laughs> it is what it is now. That's all right. So I hope you enjoy creating your December 15th page. Take a photo, maybe one of yourself, maybe one of your kids or your pets, or you do find a vintage photo, or you take this one. It doesn't matter. Just have fun playing with it, adding some elements, trying to make it look wintry or festive or Christmassy or whatever you want to do. Just have fun. That is the main purpose of this. <laughs> Thank you again for being here and for commenting and I would appreciate if you would like this video that helps my channel a lot and I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah. <laughs>